Welcome back to the Best of Food and Wine. I'm Tony Gismondi. I'm Casey Wilson. Uh, having a little sip of I wine was. there, Rick. Casey, caught just there. stealing a <laughs> off a snap <laughs> there. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, listen, joining us now, Max, a wine lab from Vina Maipo. Max, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Tony. Uh, first time at the wine festival. Are yeah. you enjoying yourself? Oh, I'm quite impressed with the, the, the quality of the show. Yeah. I'm very, very happy. Yeah, lots of people around, lots of questions. Uh, well, let's start with Vigna Maipo. Tell our listeners perhaps uh, where the winery is and what the philosophy is. Well, the winery is, is based, it was born in, in Maipo Valley, but today we are producing wines in different regions along yep. the country. Well, you visit us in, in Maule. Yeah. Uh, we were, we Amazing. spent a very, very good time in, in, in Maule uh, Valley. Um, it was fantastic. Yep. Yeah. Um, and we are uh, pushing and developing uh, in a very strong way Syrah in the country. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy with the results. Mm -hmm. So the wine you brought today uh, for us to taste is uh, the Grand Devotion. Devotion yes. And it, one of the, the, the blends that belongs to the Grand Devotion range mm -hmm. is Carmen Syrah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Chile, Carmen. Yeah. So uh, why Syrah or why not Cabernet or why not Merlot? Or what? Well, first of all, because Syrah is my favorite variety. Okay, I so like to hear that. <laughs> yeah. No, but I, I, I can see a great potential with Syrah in the country. Um, I think Syrah has something very unique in, in the varieties. You can plant Syrah in cool climate, in warm climate, or in, in, in a mild climate, and always you will get a very interesting wine. That is, is quite different than, for instance, the uh, Carmener. The Carmener planted in cool climate is not very, very pleasant. Yeah. So um, we are producing Syrah in different uh, parts of the country with different expressions for different products for different occasions and finally for different final consumers. Mm -hmm. So the Syrah sort of ameliates the, the Carmen Air. It has, it's a uh, sort of a glossier, richer wine mixing in with that Carmen Air. Well, Carmen Air by itself is an interesting variety, but sometimes you need to, to help Carmen yeah. with, with some tricks. In, in this case, I, I choose uh, some drops, some amount of uh, Syrah to increase the juiciness and, and, and uh, uh, freshness of the wine mm -hmm. and in, of course increasing the, the complexity. Well, we had a special time in Maui. It's a, it's a special place. It, it's almost like it's being rediscovered now by Chileans themselves. Can you tell us a little bit about Maui and what's so exciting about it? Well, I love Maui. It's <coughs> an incredible jewel. Uh, has been hidden for many, many years. Mm -hmm. It's the biggest valley planted in, in Chile. But um, until a couple of years ago, uh, the quality of the wines was not, uh, yeah, not great. Not great, yeah. really not great. But uh, different wineries we are we are developing and uh, applying a different philosophy, especially in the field, uh, to get different results and very very good results. Does this mean you pulled out some grapes that were growing? Well, reducing uh, the, the the yields, uh, waiting uh, for the right moment to pick up the grapes, and then the vinification is, is also a, a key factor to to get the best. Uh, uh, from that area. And there's lots of old vines in Maui too. Yes, yes. That, that can well, be accessed. you heard about the, the Carignan, yeah. uh, some very old, in, in some areas, some Malbecs, uh, Carmener, of course. Mm -hmm. yeah. There are some interesting things to do in, in Maui. Yeah. Uh, well, there are many interesting things to do there besides, uh, well, drinking wine, I guess, is the most interesting thing for me. But uh, This wine here, what? What kind of food do Chileans eat with, with this kind of wine? Is it well, in, in Maule, uh, you can find very very typical Chilean food, very yeah. uh, food from the countryside of yeah. uh, Chile, with uh, longaniza, that is the typical sausage, very spicy, very, very hot. Um, why not uh, some cat, very, very slow cooking uh, uh, food is interesting, or uh, an empanada, mm -hmm. uh, or smoked pork. Wow, goes well with Carmen there. And we good. know how well you can eat empanadas. They don't drip. If we have them, the, if Tony took a bite, it would be all down his tie <laughs> on his shirt. But I don't know what it is about Chilean men. They, they just can handle it so well. <laughs> really? Yes. That sounds frightening to me. <laughs> uh, well, we hope you enjoy Vancouver. we got plans to get out and see the city and, and uh, visit some of the other sites. Well, time's over. Uh, I, I will fly tomorrow morning to back to Chile. Because this, the, uh, the This the week harvest. I start crushing some Sauvignon Blancs, but for me uh, yeah. uh, it's very important to be here in Vancouver. 
Yeah, we sometimes forget you're in the southern hemisphere, so the harvest is uh, underway now. Will it will it be a long harvest, or when will you finish? What month will you finish in? Mm, usually, with the especially with the Carmen in Maule, I finish close to June. Wow. Yeah, the, the the second part of uh, May. That's a long it's harvest. Very very long harvest. Yeah. But so it's the only way to be very patient <laughs> uh, to get and make good wines. Yeah, Max, thanks so much for joining us on the Best of Food and Wine. Uh, love the wine, love the winery. We're going to hear more and more about Vigna Maipo as it uh, uh, builds its reputation in Canada with so many great sources of wine and, of course, the enthusiasm of a winemaker like you. Thanks for joining us. No, thanks to you. And well, I hope to see you again in Chile. Yeah. You are more than welcome. You will. Thank Max, you. Thank you. Uh, Wine Loves the Winemaker from Binya Maipo. Uh, we'll take a very quick break, come back and close up with New Zealand.